Lesson 2. EKG Professionals EKG technicians are trained healthcare professionals that obtain EKG readings and observe for rhythm abnormalities. EKG techs can also work for physicians, assisting with applying halter and event monitors, obtaining 12 lead EKGs, and assisting with stress tests and other cardiac procedures. These professionals are often employed in hospitals as monitor technicians or EKG technicians. They may combine their EKG certification with other certifications to work in specialty areas such as critical care or the emergency department. They may work in inpatient or outpatient cardiac rehabilitation units. They may work in physician offices. They might work for insurance companies performing pre-insurance physicals. EKG or ECG. Both are correct. ECG is the most proper way to abbreviate the term, but when written, it's often confused with another test called an EEG, which is the measurement of the electrical activity of the brain. To avoid confusion, EKG was widely adopted as an alternative, which is based on the German smelling of cardio with a K. The terms EKG and ECG are abbreviations. The actual term of the procedure is electrocardiogram. This is a Latin term and must be broken down for complete understanding. These words are abbreviated from Latin. E for electro, meaning electric, C for cardio, which means heart, and G for gram, which is the term for measurement. Electrocardiogram is the measurement of the electrical activity of the heart. Why do we need EKGs? The electrical activity of the heart can tell us much about the overall function of the heart. We can learn about heart damage, valve disease, arrhythmias, tissue death, electrical abnormalities, and other useful diagnostic information. Why do we do EKGs? There's many reasons that a physician might order an EKG. The following are a few. The doctor might want to monitor a patient's heart rate or identify abnormal rhythms. He may want to evaluate the effects of disease or injury on heart function. They're often done to evaluate pacemaker function or to evaluate the patient's response to medications. Sometimes they're done as a baseline recording before, during, or after a medical procedure. What can we tell with an EKG? EKGs can provide the following information. They can tell us about the orientation of the heart within the chest. We can learn about conduction disturbances. We can monitor the electrical effects of medications and electrolytes on the heart. We can look at the mass of the cardiac muscle and even determine the presence of ischemic damage. What EKGs do not do, they don't provide information on how strong the cardiac contraction is or how well the heart actually pumps. EKGs record the electrical activity of the heart's working cells as the signal spreads from the electrical conduction system into the working cells of the heart. This current spreads beyond the heart muscles throughout other muscles in the body. Other muscles are not able to respond to this current, so it's harmless. This current flow is measured on the patient's skin. The EKG does not send an electrical impulse to the heart, but rather intercepts the electrical signal that the heart's cells produce. The EKG was introduced by William Eindhoven, a Dutch physiologist in 1903. It was improved upon to make it easier to use and portable, as well as amplifying the signal. But the EKG machines we use today are no more accurate than the one invented by Eindhoven over 100 years ago. The EKG machine consists of electrodes, connecting wires, an amplifier, and a storage and transmission device. The electrodes intercept the electrical signal that is traveling through the heart's muscle cells. This impulse then travels through the lead wires to the amplifier, which makes the signal stronger. 
Finally, the signal is recorded onto special graph paper using heat transfer techniques. There are several types of EKGs that can be performed on patients. A standard 12 lead, 3 lead telemetry monitoring, modified chest leads, halter monitors and event monitors, and stress testing EKGs. This has been an overview of what an EKG does, why it's performed, where EKG technicians will find employment, and other tasks that an EKG tech can assist with. In the next lesson, we'll begin to learn about cardiac anatomy and physiology. Let's take a short quiz. Question 1. The tabs that intercept the electrical signal traveling through the heart's muscle are called A. Electrodes B. Lead wires C. Interceptors or D. Amplifiers The answer is A. The tabs that intercept the electrical signal traveling through the heart's muscle are called electrodes. Question 2. What do the initials EKG stand for? A. Endocardiogram B. Electrocardiogram C. Electroencephalogram or D. Electronic Medical Records And the answer is B. What do the initials EKG stand for? Electrocardiogram. Question 3. A trained healthcare professional that obtains EKG readings and observes for rhythm abnormalities is called an A. Basic healthcare worker, B. PCT, C. EKG technician, or D, primary care technician? And the answer is C. A trained healthcare professional that obtains EKG readings and observes for rhythm abnormalities is called an EKG technician. Question four. Which of the following is not a type of EKG? 3 lead telemetry monitoring B. EEG C. A standard 12 lead EKG or D. Halter monitor The answer is B. Which of the following is not a type of e EKG? EEG is not. And finally, question five. How are electrical signals recorded onto EKG graph paper? A, using special markers. B, using heat transfer techniques. C, using thin wires. Or D, using ink. And the answer is B. How are electrical signals recorded onto EKG graph paper? Using heat transfer techniques. Great job! See how easy an online course can be? Click on the link below to enroll in our online EKG course today.